Hi everyone. Welcome to week three of the mobility challenge. This week we are focusing on static stretching. This routine is going to be done on the ground, so find a comfortable space, maybe grab a mat and take a seat. You can use a watch or a timer to time each stretch. We'll be holding each stretch for about 30 to 45 seconds. I like to use my breath. It's a way to help me relax and really get the full experience out of this little stretch routine. So five full rounds of breath is about 30 to 45 seconds if you're slowly breathing deep into your belly. Starting with our hamstrings, creating a figure four with the legs, extend your right leg in front of you, flexing your right foot back towards the toes. Left foot is gonna come to the right inner thigh. Inhale as you reach your arms overhead, twist your torso towards the right thigh, Exhale as you hinge from the hips, releasing your upper body over the right leg, letting your hands fall to the ankle, maybe all the way to the foot or the right toes. You can even soften or bend into the right knee if that feels best. Relax everything you can here as you slowly breathe, especially relaxing your shoulders, your neck and your jaw. Breathing deep into the lower belly and noticing your belly button draw back towards the spine as you exhale. Notice where you feel the most stretch in the back of the right leg. And maybe notice if you feel a little something through your low back. Take one more slow inhale in and slow exhale out. Coming into stretch number two, right hand is gonna wrap around the outside of the right foot. Maybe grab your right ankle, or you can take your wrap, right piece fingers and wrap them around the right big toe. Inhale as you open towards the left. Exhale, reach your left arm, left bicep over the left ear. Left fingers reach past the right toes. We're staying open through the chest, long through the left side of our body. We're opening our QL or quadratus lumborum, one of our deep lumbar stabilizing muscles that attaches from the lower ribs to the top of the hip. So it's important we're keeping the chest open and breathing in so deeply that we expand and open this area below the ribs and above the hip. <sighs> Stay lifted with the torso. Take another breath in and out. Gently rise. Stretch number three is for our right piriformis muscle or external rotator. So getting into our right hip. Extend your left leg, toes flex back, Place your right ankle on top of your left thigh. Hands are gonna come behind you for support. Keep a tall spine and open chest. Bend into your left leg to come into the stretch. If this is enough, hold here, or walk your hips closer to your heel, or heel closer to the hips to deepen your stretch. Once you find a good point of tension, hold it here, breathing deeply, pressing your right knee away from you, and keeping your right toes flexed back to protect your right knee. Yes, this is a static stretch, but always an option to bring in little micro movements, maybe shifting the legs from side to side, noticing those tense areas in your right hip. Maybe finding a good spot, holding it there, breathing deep. One more inhale and exhale. Stretch number four is a twist. So we're gonna extend the left leg, place our right foot outside of the left thigh. Right hand is gonna come behind us for support, but we wanna keep our weight forward in the sit bone so we keep a tall spine. So this right hand is just like a little kickstand. 
Inhale as you reach your left arm overhead. Exhale as you twist to the right. Anchor your left elbow outside the right knee. With your inhales, you lengthen. Exhale, look over the right shoulder. Your body will want to follow your eyes here. Keep inhaling for length. Exhales, find more depth in your twist if you need it. You want to feel that twist initiate just above the belly button, opening through your thoracic spine. Left arm can stay long, fingers pointing down towards the floor, or you can bend your left elbow so the fingers point up. Gently release. Coming into the other side, creating that figure four shape with the legs. Left leg is extended, toes flex back. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, rotate your torso towards the left leg. Hinge from the hips and let the hands fall to the ankle, foot or toes, maybe softening into the left knee. Relaxing completely through the back of the neck and the shoulders keeping your nose facing towards the left leg. Noticing if you feel a difference on this side and having no judgment with that, just noticing where your body is at and what needs more attention. Feel your body open and expand as you draw the air in and feel your body soften and belly button draw in as the air flows out. Stretch number two, keeping our hand wrapped around the left foot, the ankle or the big toes. We're gonna inhale as we open towards the right. Exhale, reach our right bicep over the right ear and reach the right fingers past the left toes. Staying open through the chest, right shoulder rolled back long through the right side of the body. So press down through the right sit bones as you reach up and away through the right fingers. Breathing deeply and slowly. Noticing where we feel the most sensation below the right rib cage and above the right hip. Soften your shoulders. Keep space between the ears and shoulders, maintaining length in your neck. Gently rise. Stretch number three, our left piriformis muscle. Extend the right leg, place your left ankle on the right thigh. Keep the left foot flexed to protect the knee. Hands come behind you for support. Bend into the right knee. Notice if this is enough, if you need more, hips towards the heel, right heel towards the hips. Begin to breathe. Noticing if you wanna remain still or bring those little micro movements in, maybe slowly shifting your hips from side to side. Feel your toes relaxed. Feel relaxed through your chest. Relax through your face. Now come into your twist. Extend your right leg. Place your left foot outside the right thigh. Left hand comes behind you for support. Inhale as you reach the right arm high. Exhale, twist towards the left, anchoring your elbow outside the knee, taking an inhale in for length. Exhale, rotating your nose past the left shoulders, keeping your weight forward in the sit bones, staying really tall here. Noticing if you wanna bend into the right arm or keep the right arm straight. Slow inhale, slow exhale.
return to center. Stretch number five, opening the front side of our body in our upward facing table. Place your feet flat on the floor, hip distance apart. Wrists are gonna come just behind the shoulders, fingers pointing towards our heels. Lift your hips towards the sky, hips in line with the knees, chin tucked to the sternum for a long spine. Keep pressing down through the heel of your palms and heels of the feet. Deep belly breaths. Feel the strong stretch through the front of the shoulders and your chest, the opening through the hips and lengthening of the quads. Take one more breath in and out. Lower your hips to the floor. And there you have it. If you have any comments or questions, you know where to find us at Wellness. Have a wonderful rest of your day.